Hey everyone and welcome to the Mark 10 Mission Little Liturgies. I'm so glad you are here for this special time together as we meet with Jesus. As you can see, we have a green ordinary time cloth on our prayer table. And as we light our candle, we can welcome Jesus into our hearts and remind ourselves that he is here. It's almost time for us to listen to Jesus speak in the gospel. But first, we need to take a look inside the Mark 10 bag to see if there are any objects to help us enter in more deeply. In the Mark 10 bag, we have a bunch of flowers. We also have an invitation. And finally, we have some petals. I wonder if you've worked out what the gospel story is about today. Let's find out, shall we? This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus, be in my thoughts, in my words, and in my heart. Jesus again used parables in talking to the people. The kingdom of heaven is like this. Once there was a king who prepared a wedding feast for his son. He sent his servants to tell the invited guests to come to the feast, but they did not want to come. So he sent other servants with this message for the guests. My feast is ready now. Come to the wedding feast. Everything is ready. But the invited guests paid no attention and went about their business. One went to his farm another to his shop, while others grabbed the servants and beat them. The king was very angry. Then he called his servants and said to them, My wedding feast is ready, but the people I invited did not deserve it. Now go to the main streets and invite to the feast as many people as you find. So the servants went out into the streets and gathered all the people they could find good and bad alike, and the wedding hall was filled with people. So today, once again, we have heard Jesus speaking to us and teaching us through a parable. Parables, as I'm sure you remember, are beautiful stories, which when we listen to them, pray with them and ponder them in our hearts, show us deep secrets about the kingdom of heaven and God's love for us. Today, we heard a parable all about a king throwing a big party, a wedding feast, and that is why we have all these decorations on our table. The king invited lots of people to come and join the celebration. Just like last week, there was a father and a son in the parable I wonder, who do you think the father, who is a king, and the son in the story might point our hearts towards? The king and father in the parable represents God the father. And his son? Well, it's Jesus the son. Again, like last time, when we heard about the wicked workers saying no to the son and throwing him out of the vineyard, we have another group saying no to something. When the king sends out the invitations to his son's party, what do they say? No, actually I'm too busy. No, I have better things to do. They reject the invitation. Well, there's still a wedding to be celebrated, lots of fun to be had and food to be enjoyed. The king sends out his servants to invite everybody they meet to the wedding party. The party hall is filled and everyone has a wonderful time. 
Jesus began this parable by saying, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, is like this wedding feast. Hmm. But what is the kingdom of God? Is it a place we can visit? Sort of. The kingdom of God is a place we go to in our hearts when we welcome Jesus in. When we know Jesus loves us and love him too, the kingdom of God is there. But the kingdom of God doesn't have to stay there locked away. No, once we have it in our own hearts, we can spread it to others, help it to grow in other people's hearts too, through sharing the love of Jesus. Wow. So how is a wedding party like this? Well, first, like any party, you get an invitation. It doesn't come on a piece of paper though. It comes from Jesus himself. Come, he says. Come and be with me in your heart. What will it be like when we are there with Jesus? Well, close your eyes for a moment. Can you remember some of the parties you have been to? Now think about what the greatest party you can imagine might be like. There'll be laughing and singing, loads of fun and big smiles on faces. The greatest parties are a celebration of joy. This is what Jesus invites you to. A celebration of amazing joy. And what are we celebrating? Why does Jesus choose a wedding party? Because weddings are a joyful celebration of love. When we accept Jesus' invitation and allow the kingdom of God into our hearts, it's a wonderful celebration of how much God loves you. To know we have God in our hearts and he loves us so much can fill us with a joy better than any other we can ever have. There's one final piece of amazing news we hear through this parable. Who did the king invite? Everyone. Everyone is invited into the kingdom of God. It doesn't matter your age, where you live, your race, what you have done, what you haven't done. Jesus knocks at the door of everyone's heart with his loving invitation. Would you like to go to Jesus's wedding party? Would you like to let the love and joy of the kingdom of God into your heart? Let us pray. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, I close my eyes and imagine standing in the doorway of a huge room filled with joy. There is fun and laughter everywhere. Right in the middle, I see you. You are looking at me, smiling and asking me to come inside. Thank you, Jesus that you have chosen me and invite me into your kingdom of love. Help me to always hold the kingdom of God in my heart. It is a place of joy and light. Thank you, Jesus, that I do not need to keep this joy hidden and to myself. I can share it with others. You invite everyone into your kingdom. Thank you, Jesus, for your love and filling me with your joy. Amen.
Thank you for joining us today on the Mark 10 Mission Little Liturgies. I pray that you can hold the joy and love of the Kingdom of God in your heart this week and always. And don't forget, you don't have to keep it to yourself. It can be shared with everyone. I look forward to seeing you again next time when the cloth on our table will be white and we will be celebrating all saints. I'll see you then. In the meantime, God bless you and always remember that Jesus loves you.